Seriously, best fried fish I've ever had in my life. Hey guys, Mike Chen just got to my favorite food city in the country, New Orleans. This is gonna be a really fun food day. Starting off today with a couple sandwiches and then one of the hottest Cajun restaurants in the city. Let's go eat. My first stop is at Turkey and the Wolf for a towering fried bologna sandwich. So this sandwich on a couple of thick pieces of Pullman bread Cheese, a bologna, coleslaw, homemade hot mustard, and vinegar chips. That's what I love about New Orleans. Not only will you find classic Cajun Creole food here, you find some really innovative food items here as well. This thing, tons of different types of crunch. You get a crunch from that really buttery toast, then the chips, then the coleslaw. The coleslaw is a little sweet, very creamy. The bologna, even though it's thin, seared very well with a mighty porky flavor. Mm. And the chips, of course, that's got the biggest crunch. And the vinegar inside balances out the bologna very, very well. I've only had a fried bologna sandwich one other time in my life. It was just a very simple fried bologna sandwich. I would call this a fried bologna experience. I'm gonna finish this, and then we're going to sandwich number two. Next sandwich is at Colchon Butcher, and they are known for the maffaletta. A giant layer of ham, some coleslaw, melty cheese on a huge sesame roll. Oh, on the top, there's a layer of olive salad as well. This is such a good sandwich. First of all, I love the sesame roll. Toasty sesame with that great fragrant sesame flavor with every single bite. The ham is delicious, it's so tender and smoky. Oh, the pickle is so good. And the pickle is spicy and sweet. It goes perfect with the sandwich. Mmm, mmm, highly recommend. Two sandwiches down. Next stop, classic Cajun food. This restaurant is one of the hottest restaurants in the city of Morals. This restaurant is owned by Chef Lenora Chong and Larry Morals. On the menu, there's tons of classic, delicious looking Cajun Creole dishes, like my favorite butter shrimp. There's a gumbo ramen, which unfortunately they do not serve today. There's bagogi, there's crawfish broiled, a bunch of po' boys. All right, you know what? Gotta start with some char grilled oysters. I'm always so excited to get oysters here in New Orleans. And this is a little different. Typically, it's just grilled oysters with cheese on top. Here, it's grilled oysters, cheese, and crab meat on top. And a couple slices of bread with cheese on there. Giant oysters, perfectly grilled, covered in cheese and crab meat. And this is burning hot. As soon as this comes out, you smell the smoke. Oh, look at this. There's a ton of crab meat on top of these oysters. Oh my God, they're so good. That's about as perfect a grilled oyster as can be. The oysters are plump, they're juicy. You taste that gorgeous char on the cheese. It's smoky, it's super cheesy. And in addition to all that, that crab meat just adds a layer of sweetness. Some of the best grilled oysters I've ever had in my life. They did bring over some hot sauce. Add a little bit of hot sauce to my grilled oysters. Hot sauce is a perfect balance with the cheese. I like it even better with the hot sauce. Dunk the bread into the excess liquid in these oysters. Don't want to waste a single drop of that. What you can also do, take some oysters, dab a hot sauce, put it onto the cheesy toast. This is my favorite way to eat oysters ever. This is pretty much the apex of my food loving life. It's the crawfish pasta. So fried catfish on top, fresh crawfish tails on the bottom, linguine with Cajun Alfredo sauce. Oh wow, I love this. So many things are happening in my mouth right now. 
First of all, the sauce is really creamy, like a very rich, very creamy Alfredo. Once that goes in your mouth, the flavor just pretty much flops down top of your taste buds. You get that heat, you get the Cajun spices, especially if you combine your bite with this crispy, juicy, tender, flaky catfish. Oh my gosh, that catfish is so good. And it's perfect with a creamy pasta because it provides that nice crunch and that awesome subtle sweetness from the fish. Then you get some of the crawfish for a little additional sweetness. All that, along with the al dente pasta, it just tied together by this creamy sauce with a bit of heat and a bite of smoke. Mm. This is a very delicious, very satisfying plate of pasta with signature Cajun flavors. That was awesome. Since that fried cabbage was so good, I had to get this. A giant mountain of fried seafood with shrimp, soft shell, crab, oysters, and of course, catfish all over onion rings and fries. I don't think I've ever had a giant fried platter of seafood here in New Orleans before. Couple pieces of cheesy buttery bread on top, right underneath, couple of soft shell crabs. Of course, this golden, delicious, delicate fried catfish. Oh my gosh. That's how soft this catfish is. You can't even hold on to this thing without it falling apart in your hands. When I tell you this is one of the most delicate, soft, melting in your mouth, juicy fried catfish I've ever had, I'm not exaggerating. I love how light and airy the outside is catfish is. Inside, like I said, the fish is flaky, it's sweet, it's just glisteningly juicy. Dunk that in a bit of tartar sauce. Mm, that's almost too good. Next, let's check out the soft shell crab. Oh, look at that. Mm. Fried whole soft shell crab. It's just pure seafood umami. First of all, the legs and the claws, super crunchy. Taste that sweet, delicate morsel of meat on the inside. But the best part is right here, the fried body of the crab with all that delicious innards. Oh, it's pretty much fried pani miso. You don't need any tartar sauce, hot sauce, nothing. Just eat it like that. That is just pure fried bliss. It is chumbo, fried shrimp. Dump this a little bit in a tartar sauce and just pop the whole thing in your mouth. Mm. That is not your typical fried shrimp. That is a monster of a fried shrimp. And once you get through that awesome crunchy outer layer, the shrimp itself is so meaty and bouncy and sweet. Finally, fried oysters. Just pop these little juicy suckers in your mouth. There's also some fries, onion rings, this is about as perfect as fried seafood can ever be. Perfect contrast of crunchy batter, juicy, delicate seafood. The flavor is delicious. You really don't need any sauce to eat that. All the different seafood ingredients retain their natural sweetness and brininess and umami. Seriously, best fried fish I've ever had in my life. And this place is so cool. You walk in, such a fun vibe. All the staff here are beyond friendly. Food will welcome your taste buds to New Orleans.